What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be playing American Truck Simulator. Let's roll. We're here in Denver, Colorado, and we're going to be heading to Price, Utah today. Uh, pulling out of the international dealership. I believe before but never with my wheel and stuff I've never really driven this truck with my wheel because when I got my wheel and stuff this is Viper 2's oh, Peterbilt and I wasn't able to drive it because it was stupid um because it was like out like it was under development or whatever still or like um it wasn't updated to the previous to the version so I didn't feel like backing down versions either because I wanted to be able to do online trucking because I was doing that a lot at the time Because I can't even enter. Huh. Good thing I didn't turn there. Something, but 
there's nothing there for me to hit. Calm the freak on, truck. There we go, now it goes into gear. Alright. I'm an idiot, officially. There's a speed limit there here, it doesn't say. during hours, so they just open up for you. Now where do I pick up there it is? Ooh, maybe we'll do a long, like an oversized load, actually. Ooh. Guys, I think we're gonna do an oversized load. Guys, I might be doing an oversized load here. Hold on. Yeah, guys, I think we're going to do an oversized load today. So we're going to send this trailer bye-bye. We'll use this trailer next video. But I think we're going to do a big boy today. A big boy trailer and load. Let's get that going. Pull that. Is that everything? I can't shut off that right now. All right. Freight market. <clears throat> we'll roll with this one. Well, same place. We'll just roll with this one. We're fine. Okay, here we go. It's raining, of course. I think. Yeah. There's old number one right there. I call it old number one because it was the first truck I had. So I made it look like an older style Peterbilt. It's a Peterbilt 389, but I made it look a little older style, so. Blah, blah, we've done this plenty of times. I'm gonna start up and refire for you guys. Basic cat. I don't think there's any audio package in for that, but it's fine because a cat will realistically sound like that a cat engine. So I've been in plenty of trucks with cat engines before. Just gonna get the headlights on. Make sure my high beams aren't on. Yeah, we're good. Like I said, Viper 2 is beatable 389 slash 379. Gonna do a little tug test. Not much of a tug test to get done with this truck, but. All right, let's get these beacons rolling. So we got strobe lights right in the front there. They're really hard to see it in the day, but they are on if you look very closely. They are on. So I think we're ready to get rolling. We don't really need headlights. All we really need is clearance lights, I believe, but we're gonna get them on anyways. So I think we do need headlights, but I don't know. I feel like I'm forgetting to do something. Pushing that, yes, but I'm forgetting to do something else. Just wipers, probably. Train going through over there. I guess I don't really need to look. I mean, I guess they have it blocked off. I'm acting like they don't. I should still look, but they have it blocked off, so. Thank you. 
water's like on the freaking rain. Come on, truck. State Patrol right there. It must be Steven in his Prius. Oh wait, keep right. Looks like the GPS was telling me to get it. thumbnail real quick I'm having mental struggles right now finding photo studio oh yeah noise my noise just get that and we're gonna do sunny
we got? Uh, one hour, an, hour, ah, an hour and a half left on this job, and we can't go over 40 miles an hour. So how many miles do we have left? 66. Yeah. We just can't go freaking one mile over the freaking speed limit. It's not even the speed limit. We can't go one over 40. And this truck's well more than capable of hauling this cargo at, like, faster than 40. changing it to like a whole entire uh, course you need to take I think so like he's trying to get it before they change it to that so that way all he has to do is fill out an application Probably so many bears up here in Colorado. 
Probably. I don't know if there is. I live in New York. Okay, Mr. Pilot Car, I'm a semi truck. I really can't hit my brakes going up a hill like this. The engine may have horsepower, but that doesn't mean it likes to accelerate. I mean, I got like a Cat 850 in this thing. Actually, I might have put a 1000 in it, to be honest. Just because I like to go over a hill. So I very well might have put a uh, 10. No, not a 150. A freaking road train engine. A freaking uh, 1050. Yeah, 1050. 1,550 horsepower. Like, I very well might have put that engine in this. Watch out, boys. I didn't really need a blinker, but I'm going to, so I don't get a citation. Like I did for not using my headlights in the middle of the freaking day. means exactly what it says, Derek. You're just an idiot. How about that? Oh, no. We got, like, freaking big, huge, like, freaking, like, zigzags coming up. I recognize this road, but I don't. This looks like a, a lot like a road up in Idaho, I think it is. Idaho or Oregon. I think it's actually Oregon. Right outside of Portland, I believe, because I always used to drive down it, and I always used to spawn in Portland. See, but do you guys see how bright these stupid uh, strobes are at night? Like, they're blinding. They do look pretty good, though, but they are, like, very kind of blinding. I got ones on the mirrors, and then four on the grill. Oh, shoot, I thought that was a... I didn't know it was, like, a curve off like that. Like, I didn't know it was a curve like that. I thought it was a straight up, like, turn. Like, a turn left now. So, I was going to swing it wide, and then I noticed that. Uh, I mean, it did show it on the map, but I'm too stupid to notice that. Not really. I was just kind of ignoring it, to be honest. Let's see. Oh my god, pilot! Bro! You, 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 just, you just had to pull over there? Holy crap! What a retard. And now we're going off-roading. High beams on. We don't really need the high beams with these strobe lights, but... Turn on the flashers, too, just to make the truck look better, because the flashers look pretty nice. Especially on the rear end, but no one can really see them. Like, look at the light bar. It's, um... It's, a uh, Like, I have the mod for the upgraded lights or whatever. I think it's like custom lights for Viper 2's Peterbilt I think it's called. How much longer do we have? Three minutes. Oh wow, it's like really up here the destination. We got this little like quarry looking thing we gotta go through. Oh no, this is their just main entrance. FBI, open up. Bro, these guys out here standing here. At free oh, it's only 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> I thought it was like 11. I'm like, wow, these guys out here standing at like 11 at night. That's dedication right there. Okay, we're going to shut them off for now. We're just going to open her up because I can. Washy lights up here. Caution, these mines There's people somewhere up here. <laughs> I think it's right there. Yeah, it's that ram right there. I don't really know why I need to block out, block off this remote road. It's not even a, really a road. It's like in someone's. It's like in the thingy. Like it's in the complex or whatever. And here we are, right up here. 
<laughs> they want the stuff in like the way freaking back. Or, like I'm kind of scared to get out and unhook this. Oh my god, it's literally like the freaking black of this outside. Oh, there's someone, bro. I couldn't, I could not just stand out here all night. I don't know why. There's just like eerie vibe to it. Since I'm standing like in the freaking black of this. Anyways, shut that off. Shut that off. Those off. Probably gonna need those again. But shut it off. Shut the ignition off. Shut the lights off. And there it is. We have successfully parked. Now I'm curious. What is down there? Oh, it's another. It's another building for these guys. And then it just leads right back out to another road. I think the dirt road probably ends right there. Anyways, all right. So unload this boy. You know, you just don't want to... Oh, wait, no, because we need to drop the trailer. Hold on, guys. We need to drop the trailer first. Decouple that. Boom. I forgot about that. That was fun. Very fun, very fun. Noise, noise, noise. And then there's a sleeping area back here, so we're gonna crank a Yui and then go back there. I think that's probably an overnight resting spot for the truckers who are here. Probably because they're like, okay, well, y'all are out in the black abyss out here, so y'all can stay here tonight. Parking brake engaged. Oh, crap. <laughs> Things get so much worse, but I don't even need to show off the parking brake. How about that? Put it that way, make me feel better. How about that? Come on, out truck. Come on, out truck. Wait, there's three light cycles? You got the interior lights, parking lights. That's so weird. Because it just said they were like three ish or whatever. Like, I just put it like three ish. Turn the high beams. We're gonna hammer down because we're gonna go off roading in all number one because she can handle it, so we're going to. Oh, that bobblehead better hold on. Bro, why does this wheel feel so easy to turn? Like, it's kind of creeping me out. How easy it is to turn it. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at them skills. Look at them skills. Anyways. Here's the office. So, yeah, I guess I'll let you sleep here. Doesn't look like any other guys are here. Oh no, we got one other guy here. Is there anyone on my inside? I can't even see. Crap. No, there's not. I park right here. No, I can't. Frick. I'm trying to show you guys this truck. Stop. Now I can right here. Okay, we're gonna rest. Is it really raining? Holy crap. Anyways, so here's old number one. Let's get the auxiliary light to turn on. Oh. Oh. I'm stupid. So stupid. Anyways, we got the beacon lights right up there, as you guys saw. Flasher. So you have flashers on the fenders, uh, on the front of the fenders, and on the fenders. And then on the mirrors, you have lollipops. But in the back, look at how the blinkers are. Let me shut off the lights so you guys can see them better. But they're like traveling to the sides, which I find so cool. That's a whole different mod. And then I have just, if you can read this, your two close mud flaps. And then same thing for the blinkers. You got the blinkers. Really nice back. Um, remember, I'm driving with the ASP heavy hauler from ASP, obviously. Um, let's see the start up one more time. Normal Caterpillar engine startup. Um, that, I don't have a sound pack enabled on this mod, on this engine. And either they built the engine, like model, or they just, like the engine that Viper 2 and his development group made, either came, like with that, or like they built that sound mod, or that's just the in-game SES sound mod. However, it does still sound like a real cat. I've been near plenty of cat engines in Peterbilt's. Sounds exactly like one, so, um, 
yeah anyways guys i would like to thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed smash that like button leave a comment share some scribbling um definitely next video we're gonna run that dump trailer and probably old number one too with it um but yeah peace out guys